I had come, commanded me to do. Amen. There was a word this afternoon from the Lord. If you would grab your Bibles, amen, we're going to go to the word of God. We're going to be found this afternoon in John, the fourth chapter, starting at the 46th verse. We're going to read down to the 50th verse. Amen to your hearing. I thank God for each and every one of you. Whom I may have forgotten to Lottie Dottie and everybody. Amen. I thank God for these awesome ladies that brought me. Amen. All this way. Amen. Amen. Some of our my COPs. Would y'all wave your hands? I thank God for them. They don't leave me. No matter where I go, they live right behind me. So I thank God for that. John the fourth chapter. Starting at the 46th verse. Amen. We're going to read all the way down to the 50th verse. If you have your Bible, if you would read along with me, I like to read together. Amen. If you would read, we're going to read the four verses to your hearing. Amen. Together. If you don't have a, a Bible or some type of technological device to help you read, ask your neighbor, can I read with you? Amen. Today. And tell them next, tomorrow now you're on your own. Amen. Because you don't go to war without your weapon. I'll tell them tomorrow if you, if you can you can read with me today. But tomorrow you on your own. Is that all right? Amen. And we're gonna start at John the fourth chapter. Starting at the 46th verse. If you haven't, I'm gonna ask everybody to stand for the reading of the word. Amen. Amen. And if you have it, we're gonna read on the count of three. One, two, three. Go ahead and read. So Jesus, come on. It's a Cana. Uh huh. And there was a certain noble man whose son was sick. And when he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The noble man said unto him, Come on. Sir, come down here. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. And went his way. Amen. Just for a couple of minutes, I want to worry your patience from the subject of I need a three-word miracle. Then I need, would you repeat my topic? I need a three-word miracle. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart let them be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. As you take your seat, would you scream my topic back to me and say, Lord, Lord oh, Lord, I need a three-word miracle. Amen. You all may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Saints of God, people have the potential to say things in your life and not always live up to what they say. Has anybody ever experienced something with people where you are saying something and you're asking people for something and you realize that what they tell you out of your, their mouth, that they have never had the intentions of or the potential to live up to what it is that they say. Uh, there are many three-word miracles that people say to you in life, and many of them you've heard along the course of your life, uh, that at a certain point in your life, because they said it, uh, you come to the realization that what they said out of their mouth uh, really wasn't true. Really what they said and what they spoke to you, what they wanted you to believe really wasn't what they meant. Uh, uh, one phrase in particular that I hear people say quite often is, I love you. Uh, has anybody ever told you, I love you? You know, they say it out of their mouth. People are so quick to throw things, Apostle, and they'll say, I love you. But really, they don't really understand the power and the significance that comes from those three words, I love you. Uh, they will love will make you do some things that you ain't never done before. Uh, has anybody in here ever been in love? It'll make you say some stuff that you know in your right mind you would have never told anybody. Uh, I see y'all laughing because you were in love. Uh, love will make you 
return. Somebody say love. Uh, love will make you give the shirt off your back to your neighbor because that's just what love is. Uh, there's a agape love. There's godly love. Uh, but God is love. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I've never experienced the type of love that I have experienced from God uh, because that's just what he is. Look at your name and say, you want to experience God's love. Uh, God's love. I come to understand that there is no type of love, mother, like the love that God can give you. Uh, but I understand that there is a difference when it comes to God's love and the way that people love you. Uh, people will love you, saints of God, as long as you're good to them. Uh, people will love you as long as they can get something out of you. People will love you as long as you're doing something that's in their favor. Uh, they'll love you. They'll dine with you. They'll support you. They'll be in relationships with you. But the moment you upset them, Oh, am I the only one talking to myself oh, that's ever been in love with somebody and you make them mad and all of a sudden the love they said they had for you uh, is no longer there? So it goes to show that people are not like God. They love you, but they love you with conditions. Uh, they love you as long as you're doing what's in their favor, uh, which lets me know that when people say things out of their mouth, that they really not trying to live up to what they said. Uh, look at your name and say, you're not like that, are you? You ain't going to tell me something and then do something different. Oh, because God ain't like that. Now, another three-word phrase, apostle, uh, that I've come to realize that people don't know how to live up to uh, is I'll be there. Uh, you ever heard that before? Somebody said, I'll be there. Don't worry, you ain't got to worry about it. I think Michael Jackson said it best when he said, just call my name and I'll be there. Uh, people will tell you, I'll be there through the thick and thin. I'll be there come hell or high water. I'll be there if you need me. All you got to do is just call me. But as soon as you find yourself in a hard place, when you find yourself in a bad condition, when you find yourself in a situation that you don't know how you're going to get out of it, when you go to look for them, they are nowhere to be found. Am I the only one that has experienced that? When you go looking for people who said they'll be there, they are nowhere to be found. Oh, but look at your name and say, I'm so glad that God is not like man. Uh, because his word says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. As a matter of fact, he said, Lo, I'll be there with you. Uh, even unto the end of the world. That's just the kind of God we serve. He'll never speak something and not fulfill his promises. He'll never say it and don't have the power to do it. He'll never speak it in your life and not help you make it come to pass. Uh, because that's just the kind God we serve. Oh, would you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh, I came here today to get God to fulfill what he told me. Oh, if he told you you can have it, he'll make it happen. If he told you you can do it, he'll make it happen. If he told you he's going to fix it, he's going to do it because that's just the kind of God we serve. Look at your neighbor and say, thank God. Oh, God's going to do it. Uh, so, we have people that are saying, I love you, Apostle. We got people to say, I'll be there. Uh, but one of my favorites, uh, Lady Johnson, is when people say, I got your back. Oh, my God. Have you ever heard somebody say, I got your back? Uh, don't worry about it. Whatever you're trying to do, I got your back. Whatever you're trying to go through, I got your back. They say, if you're in a fight, I'll fight for you. Uh, if you're in a bind, I'll pull you out. Uh, having your back, you know, simply means that they're covering the part uh, that you can't see. Uh, they're covering the part uh, that's behind you. But the problem that I found with people, and when they say they got my back, uh, the same one that said they're covering me, 
Uh, it's the same one that's stabbing me. Uh, the same one that said they ain't gonna do it. It's the same one I need to be covered from. Uh, anybody ever experienced that? Uh, but here we go again. I'm so glad that God ain't like man. Uh, because if he said it, he's gonna cover it. If he promised it, he's gonna do it. But can I tell you when I was riding today, God told me to decree in this house uh, three words. And he said, it's your turn. Uh, can I tell you uh, that God is getting ready to do something in your life that you never experienced? All of the heartache, all of the suffering, all of the disappointment, all of the aggravation, all of the frustration. God Spirit! 
signs and wonders you will not believe. Oh, what is that with the church today? Oh, that we got to have a sign and a wonder. Oh, God said all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. And I'm able uh, to do that. He said you can speak to the mountain and tell it to be moved. You can speak healing and it shall come to pass. Oh, but we got a generation now, daughter, that needs signs and wonders. Oh, but where are the people that just believe God just because of who he is? Where are the people that believe God just because of what he said? Where are the people that believe God for a miracle?
people is a surrendered spirit. All you got to do is praise him. And he said, I'll do the drawing. I'll do the drawing. Can we think about 30 more seconds and just worship the Lord? Come on, stand to your feet and open up your mouth and just begin to worship. His presence is in this place. I need to hear your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Open your mouth and speak something sweet in this atmosphere. Come on, tell him thank you. Tell him, God, forgive me for where I doubted you. God, forgive me for where I wanted to give up on you. God, forgive me for where I wanted to throw in the towel. But I thank you now for restoration. I thank you now for restoration. I thank you now for restoration. Thank you. 